Good evening, everybody. Joey the Truth Wagner with you. It's been a while, but welcome back to the Truth Serum. Episode number nine is all about baseball. All about Major League Baseball, that is, as this is the Pittsburgh Pirates 2017 season preview show. Well, folks, it's been a very tenuous, a very long off season for the Pirates as they have been looking for ways to improve after last season's very disappointing year. Uh, only winning 78 games, having a losing season, missing the playoffs for the first time since 2012. So the Pirates are looking to improve this season. But before we take a look at the new year, let's look a quick look at last season. Well, folks, it was a rough finish for the for the Pirates last, last season. Like I said, only winning 78 games, finishing third in the NL Central Division. There were just injuries from the start. Pirate ace Garrett Cole only made 21 starts last season due to injury, had a career-worst 388 ERA. Also, Andrew McCutcheon was not himself at all last season for the first four months of the campaign. A according to many defensive metrics, he was the worst outfielder defensively in all of Major League Baseball and had a career worst 250, 256 batting average. Also, Pirates were doomed from the start because of their starting rotation. Their pitching was a mess. When you start a baseball season with Jeff Locke, Jonathan Neese, and Juan Nicasio as three of your five starters, it's not going to be a good year, and it, cer and, it, and it certainly wasn't. But here's the good news, folks. Jeff Locke is finally gone. John Neese is gone. He was traded to the Mets at the deadline last season. The Yankees actually just released him this spring training, so he's without a job right now, and, and, and Juani Cash, Juan Nicasio, is in the bullpen, where he belongs. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, 2017, it will be a season of bounce back. It will be a season of redemption. Here's why. Number one. The top half of our starting rotation is very solid. Garrett Cole has been looking great all spring. He's healthy. He's Garrett Cole again. Number two, JT. James and Tyon going, going to be with the Buccos for the whole season. You gotta love that. Last season, a 338 ERA in 18 major, major league starts since his debut. So he's solid. Number three, Pirates were able to re-sign Ivan Nova to a very team-friendly contract, $26 million over three seasons. Let's see if he can continue his awesome work of ground balls, pounding the strike zone and going deep into ball games. Also, folks, the Penguins, uh, not the Penguins, I'm sorry, I'm still in hockey season, but the Pirates, just like the Penguins, there are some young kids some young rookie players that'll be able to to contribute to the ball club, such as starting first baseman Josh Bell and um, utility man Adam Frazier. I I expect those kids to to build off of their strong debuts last season, so I expect really strong things from them. Also, folks, it might not seem like it when you compare the Pirates to the Cubs or to the top teams in baseball, but there's actually a lot of talent on this roster that I really like. Like I said, in this starting rotation, Cole, Tyon, Nova, they're a solid one, two, three punch. Let's look at the let's look at the position players. You have Marte, Kutch, Polanco in the outfield. They're talented, established major league players. You have the young and upcoming Josh Bell at first. You have either Jay Hay, Josh Harrison, or Frazier at second, which is a good tandem. You have the always solid 
not spectacular, but very solid, Jordy Mercer at shortstop and at third base. You're going to have David Freeze, who is a grind it out, come to the ballpark, excellent team guy. And hopefully in the near future, Jung Ho Gung. So there's a lot of talent on this roster that I really like. Let's look at the bullpen. I really like Felipe Rivero back there with Tony Watson and Juan Nicasio in the and the in the new right hander from Arizona, Daniel Hudson. The back end of this bullpen has the ability to be great. And lastly, the bench, I really like how there's a lot of guys who can play all over the field and can contribute offensively and hit very well on this bench, like your John Jasos and your Adam Frazier's. And I just, there, there's talent on this roster, folks. There really is. There's talent on this roster. I almost forgot about Francisco Cervelli. He's, he's a very solid catcher. Like I said, folks, don't count these buckos out. There's talent all over this roster. There really is. There really is. So I feel that we will have a solid 2017 season. But folks, before I give you my sort of prediction for the 2017 season, here are some questions I have about this year's Pirates Ball Club. Number one, the outfield, same guys, but they're in different places. Starling Marte is the new center fielder. Andrew McCutcheon moves from center field to right field. Gregory Polanco moves from right field all the way over to left field. So my question is, Andrew McCutcheon, folks, he's been a center fielder all of his life. How will he respond to right field? That's a big question. How will he respond and how will that affect him this season? I hope it all goes well. Number two, my second question. Jung Ho Gung. He had that third DUI, and his visa to, to come back to the U.S. has been denied. He's been working out over in South Korea, but he hasn't seen any live pitching. So he's not going to be ready for the start of the season. But the question is, how soon will he be ready? Because he's a cleanup hitter, can hit the ball out of the ballpark guy. I mean, he hit 21 home runs last season in just over 100 games. He's a threat to hit the ball out of the park every time. You need somebody like that in your lineup. And number three, the number five option for the Pirates starting rotation. That one spot right now is going down to the end between four guys. Hutchinson, Brault, Glasnow, and and Mr. Financial Flexibility, Trevor Williams. Out of those four folks, I think Stephen Brault should get that job. And it's not because he's a lefty or, or, or because I feel that he's super great. I feel he's good and he's capable, but I really like how he's throwing strikes right now in spring training, getting quick, efficient outs. And what impressed me about him was that last season during his rookie year, even though he didn't go deep into ball games and he had a lot of base runners on, he did a very nice job keeping the other the the opposition from scoring. So he wasn't at his best last season, but he did a pretty good job at it. And the reason why I wouldn't go with Glasnow is I feel he's not polished yet and he's not ready enough. Drew Hutchinson, his fly ball tendencies concern me. And he, was, he wasn't very good at all last September. And I wouldn't go with Trevor Williams because, because I didn't see enough from him last season. He didn't blow me away last season and he really... From what I've seen, this spring hasn't blown me away either. So for that number five spot, I'd go with Stephen Brawl to enter the year as the number five starting pitcher. Well, folks, well, friends, it's time. It's time. The Truths season prediction for the Pittsburgh Pirates. 
Well, number one, I feel it'll be a lot better of a season this year for Pittsburgh because the stars are healthy. Cole is healthy. Kutch is healthy. Cervelli's healthy. Guys are just healthy. That'll help. Number two, Andrew McCutcheon has said he is going to, quote, have a monster year, end quote, this year. Kutch is, is a man on a mission, and you got to love that. And because of those main two things, folks, it'll be a season of redemption for the box. It'll be a season of Boktober, I think. I predict that the Pirates will win between somewhere between 85 to 90 games this season, and they will get one of those wild card spots. I have a feeling it'll be the first wild card spot. So that so that's what I'm go that's what I'm going with. They won't win the NL Central against the Cubs, but they will push them and and challenge them for it to about mid to late September. So I'm going with 85 to 90 wins, a playoff berth, and a wild card game, Bucktober style at PNC Park. Well, folks, those are my thoughts on the upcoming season for your Buckos. And this was episode 9 of the Truth Serum, Pittsburgh Pirates, season preview 2017. Well, folks, thank you for watching, and Joey the Truth Wagner, signing off. Enjoy.